Can you see the numbers? Yes. Okay. Okay. Holy so, crap. So yeah, this, the last time we were in here, this and the next one were basically completely empty. And, and now, now all it's honey. all completely built out. It's all completely honey. That's pretty crazy. And yeah. Good oh, heavens. Good heavens. Alrighty. So do you want to take back over the, but, uh, but. the filming and, or do you want to keep going? Well, the question You need is, to set it on the, on the ground and you need to do it by carefully scraping the bees off that are on the very bottom. Um, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. How, is, how, how do you do that? <laughs> uh, well, as I'm filming the back of your head. Sorry. I got one. Okay, there we go. Putting it down there. All That's righty. scary. Okay, go ahead. All right. In any case, you can see once we started feeding them, they have taken to making honey in great amounts. Great, great amounts. Um, and they have stuck everything together so that it is very difficult for us amateur beekeepers to get us out. So let's okay. see. That's another one full of honey. That is completely full of honey. Yeah. There's nothing but honey. Want to lift that. it out? Want to lift it out just Not to... particularly, but... Okay. Lift it out just to show the lovely viewers here. It's, it's part of it is it's like way so damn much now. Yeah. Good heavens. That's got to be... Well, I mean, seriously, if you, figure, if you figure lifting up your normal... Oh, my stars. Yeah. Hell, hold it there for a second, sweetie, while I, I monologue here. If you figure lifting up, you know, your little eight-ounce bear of honey, you know, and, and figuring out how much that is, figure how much it is that it's all there, plus all these bees. It's a surprisingly heavy thing, considering it's covered with honey on both sides. This is a good sign. Uh, right now, this is very low-quality honey. It's made from sugar water. Um... You know, I don't know if there's any brood in here, which is what we're looking for. At this point, we want to see, you know, if... Well, I don't expect brood to be this far over. Yeah, but I'm expecting to see, you know, how the brood pattern is going, just making sure that everything... Oh, yeah, we're definitely going through here to see all that. Yep. Well, I, I, I know, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah they, they get even heavier okay. as you get in. Okay. Now, here's where we're beginning brood. You can see there's a difference in the kind of comb, mm -hmm. and there are a few brood... There are a few eggs laid down toward the bottom. Okay. Yeah, and you can see that on the other side as well. And, yeah, definitely brood over And, here. you know, and you, is and that queen? Is that those queen cells? I no. Think it's I think it's ladder wax. Yeah, it's ladder wax. So it's ladder wax as they're trying to build. Queen cells look very different, but I think I can... Hang on, let me see if I can actually... Yep, it's just regular beeswax, you can okay. see. Okay. You know, you can mind your own. <laughs> I will tell you from last week's experience, you did not see it on camera because we ran out of camera time. Um, I opened up some of the honey and ha took it, which tasted mostly like the sugar water here. But um, I actually had some of the beeswax in it and I tasted it and it was terrible. Um, plus it got stuck in your mouth all the time. So. Yes, well, you put the wax in your mouth, so. Yeah, well, I basically just scraped along the side with the uh, with thing and took some. All right. Whoa. You can hear the sound there. Okay, and now there's some. Whoops. Um, I'm getting I think that's bumped. Pollen. Yeah. We're yeah. definitely laying here. Yeah, we definitely have a, a a bee just bumped my head. I'm not sure. Supposedly, when they bump, it's a sign of aggression and that they're coming after well, you. Well, if they start, you know, they can just bump into you and they're accidentally going past. Yeah. But supposedly the bees do that when they they're aggressive, and they have been getting more aggressive towards me lately as I'm trying to feed them. Um, I think we have. Now they have. Robbing. Oh, okay, Jenny, let me finish okay. my sorry. monologue. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Um, but basically, as I've come out, they seem to be investigating me a lot more closely. As they have more to uh, guard, they get a lot more paranoid about intruders. And you can see them being a lot more active now as they're starting to fill in. Jenny thinks that we, they have been uh, subject to attempts of robbing, which would make sense. Um, basically, robbing is what happens when other bees find this great source of honey unprotected, and they try to come in and steal it all. Um, as it turns out, bees have burglars, too. Um, and I have seen a couple of foreign bees coming around here trying to seal it. The other bees have taken care of it. Um, hang on, let me get in here because these are the also, also a fair amount of brood. And, uh... Yep, and a lot of honey around the edges here. You can see that's the big, big bolus of honey there that really gets me. So I think we're definitely good to put in the thing. Careful, you're going to squish one? You're going to squish one? I really have okay. a limited amount that I can do about that. Okay. It was just right underneath your finger, so I was very worried. Um, anyway, so yeah, we have seen that, and a couple of yellow jackets which come around uh, swarming, looking around here. The bees have fought them off, and it's interesting to watch them fight, because you'd think it'd be a really efficient thing, but realistically, they just sort of dope up around each other and cluster in balls and, like, two or three bees, and it, the bees actually will, you know, t you know, tumble over on top of each other, trying to get their stingers onto each other. It looks kind of comical, really. You know, I mean, it is life or death for the bees, and I respect that, but it does not look that cool.
Okay. There we go. Lots of honey. A little bit of brood in the center. Some brood over here too. Okay, hang on. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah, but we've got, I, I would say they have enough honey to make it through the winter now. So careful, careful, you're off to one side. I know, I'm trying to. Okay. They're heavy. Yeah. And awkward at this point. Yes. Uh, we're starting to line up here. Okay. Give them another puff. Yeah, we, we may be being paranoid, but you may notice that, in fact, uh, as Ginny smokes the bees and give them a good puff, I am suited up today because I am sufficiently paranoid that I'm doing it. Okay, that, that's probably... They've all retreated, as you can see. They really don't like smoke. Reminds them of fire. Yeah. That probably means our queen is right around here. Oh, could be. Well, we'll have to be careful. I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. Yeah. But anyway. So again, same story. More honey coming out. Lots more oh, honey. My stars is getting heavy from... Yeah. Okay, that's just pretty much all honey. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of honey. You know, frankly, if the bees can't make it through the winter based on that, I don't know how they're, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know how you're going to lift this box. <laughs> With effort. So, this box probably weighs about 50, 60 pounds, maybe mm -hmm. 80. And you know what? If I drop it, holy fuck, I don't want to be there for that. Okay. You got it. Okay. Come along, guys. Just brush them away with your hive tool. Here we go. Once again, lots okay. of effort. We have some... Tons of honey. Tons of honey. And some brood. A little brood. Yeah, so and basically this, this honey flow will slow down considerably once we stop feeding them. Yeah. And that's kind of a shame, because, but it means that we'll have better quality honey and more of it, supposedly. Well, not necessarily more, mm. but definitely better quality. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Just yep. honey, honey. Honey, honey. Honey, honey on the other one. Can I go ahead and put these back in? I don't have to look out the last one. Yeah, no, that's fine. Honey. Push them all on the other side and... Let's lift this box of bees. Push them back. Push them back, push them back, way back. Bees, you have no idea how much effort and time we're taking to take care of you. you know, nor do I think you'd really appreciate it, but, you know, maybe you would. To them, we're tiny gods. In any case, I'm going to pause it right now because we're at 758, and I'm going to uh, want to take a picture of the uh, second hive when we get in there. So.